Hello! In this video I want to show you how you can co convert Arnold displacement into geometry. Uh, it's pretty simple. So I have this wall here which is pretty low resolution and I've set up a little shading network with a displacement shader and um, the displacement shader set to 8 with the texture connected and um, it's generating this displacement. In the object settings we have seven, seven iterations of Catmull Clark and the height and bounce padding and stuff is uh, default. Okay, so this is looking fine at the render. You can run it again just to take a look. Um, it's looking, look, looking great. Uh, I like the displacement as it is. But I would like to have it as a geometry, as polygons in the viewport. And the way to do this is not via co uh, modify convert, which I always thought it, uh, it would be, but uh, over the Arnold menu. Under Arnold, we have utilities and bake select geometry. We click that and we can uh, select the location I'm going to copy this one really fast Give it a name and it's going to save out an OBJ file Let's save, yes And uh, when we now go to the location uh, We can find this op this file here um, For me it's not, uh, this is an old one which is which is overwriting right now We can see it's at 0 kilobytes um, And Maya is still frozen So um, we have to wait a bit uh, I've got this at seven iterations, which takes quite a long time. Um, if you have a lower um, displacement resolution, it will go way faster. So uh, yeah, depends always on how much iterations you have. Let's wait a bit more. And now we got the um, notification down here that it's done. And we have it here. It's quite large because it's really subdivided qu uh, quite, quite, quite a bit. We can import it into Maya. So after this is loaded, um, we have the high resolution uh, polygon mesh in the viewport and it's quite heavy in this case but I just need it for um, another thing and then I'm going to delete it. I would not recommend uh, baking out all your displacement um, to have it in the viewport if you, and, and then using it because um, in most cases it's going to be uh, really uh, heavy after, after a while. This is fairly a uh, small scene so it works fine but if you have a large scene uh, this can get quite heavy. Uh, in my case, I don't really want to use this. I just want to use this for another thing. And um, that's uh, this little advertisement here. And I'm going to pin it to the wall and it should follow the curvature of the wall. And it's a nice little advertisement uh, that I found online. I find it qu uh, quite nice. And um, we're going to use a shrink web modifier for this, or shrink shrink web deformer, I should say. Um, and the way the selection order works here is a bit confusing because we have to select the deforming object or the object we want to deform first and the deforming object second. It's a bit misleading for me but yeah that's how it works. I'm going to go to shrink wrap and I'm going to check the op option box and I'm, I want to have this on work the vertex normals because these normals from the um, from the uh, advertisement are straight and I want to project them onto the pl uh, plane along the normals. So let's click apply and we should see this snap to the wall and if I hide this wall now uh, we can see that this is quite nicely deformed to the wall and um, we can if we want to subdivide it one more, one more time so it's a bit more smooth maybe offset it a little tiny bit Okay, that's weird. Uh, oh, right, it's the former, of course. Uh, we have to delete history so that the former it becomes inactive, and now we can move it. Um, let's move it just like maybe 15.3. And if we now render this, it's still too far close to the wall, let's move it a bit more out. Yeah, but now we can see that it's um, nicely uh, following the curvature of the wall. But yeah, that's how you can uh, convert um, displacement from, uh, from Arnold to polygons. And yeah, I hope this has been useful for you and um, I wish you a great day. Bye bye.